gonna go. It wants to. It wants to, but uh, yeah. No. Hi everyone, welcome to Dusty Shelf Collectibles. So uh, in filming the videos over this weekend, uh, trying to connect in with the Royals, I did actually get this out of the uh, cabinet, which is the Duchess of Athol. Yeah, I pulled it out of the cabinet for demonstration purposes, and while it was out, I popped it on the track to see if it was running, and uh, yeah, not very successful. So I thought I'd just do a quick video of pulling the body off of this, seeing what's wrong, see if we can get it, to get it back into running order. So I'll just pop it on the track and show you how it runs at the moment and uh, then let's go over to the bench and uh, see if we can see what's wrong. Right, I've just dropped that onto my test track. I'm just gonna apply some power and you can see that it's not gonna go. It wants to, it wants to, but uh, yeah, not very successful. So probably years and years of grime inside and probably a, a very weak weak magnet so uh, let's pop it over to the bench and uh, let's see if we can get an improvement on that performance shouldn't be too hard all right let's take a look at this loco so clearly uh, had, a, had a very uh, tough life by the look of it um, certainly the body's seen some better days but uh, maybe we'll do something about that in a future video but um, let's get it undone and have a look what we've got inside Right, just going to undo this, this this fixing on the front here. So this is just a, a five and a half millimeter socket. Put that over there. Take that fixing out. Okay, let's just drop the body out if it will come. There it goes. Right, pop that over there and. Uh, Oh yeah, years of grime in there. Look at that. Yeah, right old mess. Right, let's get the uh, let's drop the magnet off and uh, see what we can see. Right, let's uh, drop the magnet out. So shouldn't really use my spanner on here because it can magnetise the spanner. But never mind. Cool, that's a tight one. sorry that's that magnet feels quite strong so maybe it is just needing a good old clean all right let's remove the brushes and withdrawing that spring let's undo that so i can lift out the armature i do want to try and get those Brushes out. That's one of them. Alright, so I've got the springs out, but I haven't got the brushes yet. Okay, that's that. You know, look at the state of that. Wow, that's really grubby. Okay. Yeah, very grubby. Now, when I did the last build, um, people advised me to get some electrical cleaner. I haven't actually got any of that yet. I will do. Um, but uh, yeah, that's something uh, still on my my list to purchase so I'm still going to use uh, similar cleaning methods to before let's give the frame a little bit of a clean out oh, God, look at all the grub coming off of that years and years of muck yeah great okay Right, let's have a look at this armature. I think I'll go and put that in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and let that uh, 
that, that get cleaned off. Well, that's a bit better. Years of grime off of that. That's good. Okay, let's clean up this uh, magnet. Look at that in there. Do one side at a time. Cool. That's one of those. Let's put that back on there. Make sure I keep them around the right way so that uh, it runs in the correct direction. good right let's start to uh, let's have a look at these wheels right as point people pointed out last time i was far too heavy-handed with the loco in the way that uh, i cleaned the wheels what i've done with this one is i've just used a sort of a uh, bathroom cleaner very gently running around on the wheels to get the worst of the grime off and then giving it a good soak in oil um, to take the rest of the the muck from it. You can see there how much uh, dirt is still coming off as I run the wheels around. If I get a nice clean bit of cloth here. Yeah, you can see all the muck coming off with it, it's fantastic. Years and years of grime coming off this loco. Okay, I think we're just about ready to put pop back together. I'll just clean that in there. That looks okay. Right, so let's take my armature. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of grease on there. Right, tiny, tiny little bit of grease on the worm gear. And I'll drop that back in. Put my screwdriver, there it is. It's nice and free. Okay, right, let's have a look at these. They're not actually in too bad a condition, they're just very mucky. I'm just going to clean over again. Yeah, the brushes don't look too bad, they're just, uh, so just, just a little bit on the old side. They're cleaned up okay. brush in there you go let's do the other side the brushes have got a little bit of curvature in them where they've worn down so i'm trying to line that back up with the armature if i can let's just put that into the hole there you go like that and put the spring on okay and that into there Perfect. Right. Now let's get the uh, motor back in. Uh, sorry, the magnet back in. Keep calling it the motor today. final touch with the chassis just before I uh, take it over and see how it runs. All right, so I'll take my, this little machine here, puts uh, some uh, magnetism back into the uh, motors. Um, this one doesn't really feel that bad to be fair, but uh, we'll do it because I've got the machine here anyway. So we find out which way is north, which is, you can see this way, 
So then we load this into the machine. We make sure that the two uh, connecting rods are touching the motor. And then we simply push the button. Now, I'm not gonna do this live on camera because my camera is too close and this creates a huge magnetic field. So I think you get the gist, put this in here, and you just literally push this for a couple of times, just for a second each time, and it puts magnetism back into the magnets. Um, you can find these machines, uh, there's a gentleman that does make them, and I forget his name now, but uh, you'll certainly, I think it's Mr. Dodd, um, you'll find him on, he's got some videos on YouTube, and uh, he sells these, so um, I've found them to be absolutely invaluable in all of the engines that I've put back together over the last few weeks. Uh, this has been wonderful. So I'm just going to stop filming for a minute while I hit this live um with some uh <laughs> creating some uh, magnetic fields all right let's give the uh give the chassis a quick test run so just applying just a tiny bit of power to it i would call that a success Yeah, very pleased with that, very pleased indeed. Right, I'm just going to uh, do my normal test, switch this on to low, in, low power, or low resistance, shall we say, to see how much control I've actually got. Yeah, beautiful. Right, let's go and get the body back on and uh, take it for a run on the proper layout. Right, so let's just drop this body back on, remembering to put the uh, put the tender coupling through the slot in the body. Right, that's that in there. I love the way with these old locos. Look at that. This just drops in from the top, but you wouldn't notice it. You see the way it drops into the square hole. Brilliant. Okay, let's. Uh, this back on. Seems to have acquired a nut from somewhere. Maybe that fell off the bench. There you go. So let's go and give this a run, run around the layout and uh, see what it looks like running at speed. Now, just before I do that, actually, the body on this is pretty, pretty poor to be fair. Um, it's just seen better days. So I think with this one, uh, tell me what you think. I think this might be a project where I'm going to uh, strip the paint back on this and repaint it and get it looking nice again. But uh, tell me what you think. Should I do that? Or you know, I'm, I'm sitting on the fence here because I'm looking at it and thinking, well, you know, it does uh, have that patina, that aged look, which is quite special on these engines and uh, it could be very easy to spoil it. So uh, yeah, but let me know what you think. I think it's fair to say that was uh, an extremely successful, um, I was going to say restoration, but not really a restoration, it was a bit of a clean. Um, yeah, so just an hour, cleaning all the muck and grime off from all those years has uh, done wonders for this loco. 
Now, um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you look at the body, it's uh, it has definitely seen better days. It is showing its age and uh, showing its life, I guess. Um, so, um, yeah, please let me know what you think. Should I fully restore it? Should I repaint the body, reline it? Or leave it with uh, its current patina and uh, its weathered looks and uh, keep it looking authentic as a, as a proper Hornby 00 loco. Anyway, I hope that was of interest. Uh, I'm so pleased with it um, for, a, for a loco that I didn't think would ever run again. Um, it's probably one of the best runners I've got. So uh, anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. You'd, I'd really appreciate it. You'd be doing me a massive favour. And uh, we'll leave that one there. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I'll catch you on the next one.